So let's finally talk about the Lenovo LOQ. I received your request to review the LOQ, but I was unable to arrange a unit. But now I have finally got my hands on one LOQ and I must say that this just might be a game changer in the budget laptop segment. And this laptop was provided to me by Micro IT Lenovo store in Kochar Market, Ludhiana, who had faith in me to review this laptop. They have an excellent team which guides you to make an informed decision according to your needs. And this laptop is available at a great deal, which I will talk about later in the video. So stay tuned. So let's understand this LOQ series. So in Lenovo's gaming laptop segment, we have top of the line Legion series and then the IdeaPad gaming series. This series is a rebranded budget IdeaPad gaming series, which is a good move on Lenovo's part as every brand had cool names for gaming laptops like Legion, Omen, Victus, Tough, Trix, Katana, Raider, Alienware, Nitro, Helios, and so on. And IdeaPad didn't really fit this lineup, but LOQ seems to be a step in the right direction. This series has a lot of range, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Ranging from Intel Core i5 12th generation to i7 13th generation and RTX 2050 to RTX 4060. It has a total of 7 variants in my region, that too in my knowledge. There may be more. So, bachche se leke bade tak sab ke liye laptop hai series mein. Just mind blowing. The variant that I have is i5 12450H with RTX 4060. A really weird combination to be honest, i5 12th generation which is a last gen budget CPU with RTX 4060 which is a current gen expensive GPU. Kya soch ke combination banate hai ye? Super confusing. But the laptop does not disappoint as it has good build quality with a decent low profile look that you can easily take to formal settings. It has a LOQ logo on the top lid in the classic Legion style and a classic Lenovo tag on the other side of the lid. Good quality plastic all over, also known as polycarbonate. It has almost no top lid flex and a minor keyboard flex. The screen can easily be opened with one hand and goes back to about 150 degrees which enhances its use in various postures. Although it has no screen wobble when you push it, it does wobble on its own under direct fan, which although is ignorable, but was a real pain in the ass while filming. It has a full-sized keyboard with good key travel and classical Lenovo keyboard, but it has only a single zone white light keyboard, which is very disappointing given its specification and price. It feels good to type on without any issues. It has two light levels that can be cycled by pressing the function and space key. It has a big trackpad with multi-gesture support, which is supposed to be fully clickable, but the upper part didn't really feel quite clickable. Talking about the ports, it has in total three USB Type-A ports and one USB Type-C port. On the right side, it has one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, a privacy shutter to disconnect the webcam directly from the motherboard itself. On the left side, it has one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, which also gives display output of 4K 60Hz, but isn't a Thunderbolt 4 port. The rest of the ports lie on the back side with two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one RJ45 Ethernet port facing downward so you might have to lift the laptop up to remove it, one HDMI 2.1 port and one charging jack. All the ports on the back side have markings on the top down side, making it easy for the user to know which port is where, but they do not get lit up, so it might be hard to operate this area in the dark. I would say it has decent ports giving three USB Type-A ports and ports on the back side, which gives it a cleaner look. Talking about the screen, it has a Full HD 15.6 IPS anti-glare display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 350 nits brightness, 1000 by 1 contrast ratio, but only 45% NTSC color gamut, which makes it not so ideal for color accuracy tasks. However, it has a refresh rate of 144Hz and a response time of 6 milliseconds, which makes it a good choice for eSport games. It also has support for G-Sync for a tear-free gaming experience. It has a good screen overall, but its only drawback is its color gamut, which to be honest doesn't really bother in day-to-day -day usage or while gaming, but will only matter if you're doing color accuracy tasks. It has air exhaust vents on the back side with this blue accent color which looks pretty cool, two air exhausts on each side and one big air intake vent on the bottom. It has dimensions of 14.2 inches by 10.42 inches by 1 inch and a weight of 2.5 kgs which along with its rounded corners make it very easy to manage and carry around. It has not so slim bezels, but they do not feel fat either. It has two speakers of 2 watt each, which are the worst speakers that I have ever heard. Low volume, not so clear audio, no bass. Maybe it is the unit that I reviewed that may have some speaker issues, but I cannot say that for sure. Here is how they sound.
Talking about the general specifications, this particular laptop comes packed with Core Intel Core i5 12450H processor with 8 cores and 12 threads, whose specifications are as follows for the enthusiasts. RTX 4060 with 8 GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a maximum TDP of 115 watts, which is actually ideal because RTX 40 series GPUs do not cross 110 or 115 anyways. 16 GB DDR5 RAM clocked at 4800 MHz and a 512 GB Gen 4 SSD, which is really confusing and irritating at this point because 512 GB in 2023 just doesn't cut it. As said earlier, I am really amazed at the specifications of this laptop as it has a low powered i5 12th gen with a high powered RTX 4060 with 8 GB of VRAM. i5 12450H with 4050 made more sense as cutting cost with i5 450H but giving RTX 4060 only seems like a half measure. But the performance of the unit is pr still pretty decent with Cinebench giving 10,220 33 in multi core and 1593 in single core performance. Geekbench giving 8322 in multi core and 2101 in single core. 3D Mark Times Spy gave 8826 overall, 11846 GPU and 11030 CPU scores. This laptop is suitable for students and professionals with tasks ranging from hardcore gaming, streaming, coding, 4K editing, 3D modeling and rendering and AI work. Unfortunately, I was unable to perform any game test due to shortage of time I had with this laptop, but I will try to find reliable data of this particular laptop tested by others and post it in the following video. So please consider subscribing to see the results. Moving on, it also has some other features like a 1080p webcam, a separate power button whose light displays different colors in different performance modes. It has a 60 watt hour battery, which only gives about 2.5 to 3 hours of regular usage. And I would speculate that it will give less than one hour of gaming. It comes with 170 watt charger. It has MS Office 2021 preloaded. It comes with Lenovo Vantage software, which helps to customize the laptop's features and performance according to user need. I have made a full video on the Vantage software basics. Watch this video for more information on the Vantage software. But keep in mind that this laptop may not have all the features of Vantage software. This laptop is available on online channels for about 95,000 as of making this video. But at Creative Laptop Store, if you show this video, to them before buying, you can get this laptop for about 93,000 with goodies. So consider buying your next LOQ laptop from Micro IT Store. Contact details in the description. Talking about the competition, that is laptops available with similar specs. We have Acer Nitro, Acer Helios Neo, Asus Tough, Dell G16, and HP Omen. In conclusion, I would like to say that this laptop is a really good option to have in a low budget segment which fits the pocket and gives good performance for the buck. LOQ series has a lot of variants to choose from which is good for people who are well informed but for the people who are not so tech savvy can easily pick the wrong one so be careful. Build quality is good, it doesn't feel cheaply built at all. However, the screen of this particular variant can be avoided in my opinion. Rest, this is a great laptop which you will not regret buying.